Okay, this video is how to perform a software update on a Macintosh. Uh, this is uh, pretty similar to, well, it's very similar to the Windows update on a Windows. So if you're just switching from a PC, you want to do this as well. And it's just as vital. You get software updates, you also get critical updates like uh, security updates. So what you do is you go up to the Open Apple up here and then you click on software update and it brings up a screen. What it'll do, it'll scan your computer for the software programs that you have on your computer. It'll check the versions and then it'll check the internet and see if there's anything uh, available to update. And what I'll do is it'll pop up a list of the ones that need to uh, update the latest version. So uh, that's what it's doing right now. And you can also go to System Preferences um, to set this up so that it'll automatically do it for you. You go to System Preferences and you can go down to, down to Software Update right down here. There we go, software update. And uh, it'll say, you can also make sure it says show all. You can go also go to system preferences by going up here, system preferences, and uh, go here, click show all, make sure it says show all. And then you're gonna go down and you're gonna look for software update, click on software update. And you're going to, I'm gonna check it. I wanna make it daily, not weekly. I like, like it to be always up to date. And then download important updates automatically. I'm gonna check that, because I like to do that. Um, and installed updates, that shows you what all the, uh, once it's installed already. And then check now. You can also check now instead of doing what we did. So here's the list of updates that we did, or that that's available, excuse me. And uh, so we have the front row, and the front row is a software program that allows you to, you know, use front row, which is a software program that allows you to watch movies or listen to music with the remote control that comes with your MacBook. And so uh, it's pretty, pretty fun to use. Um, and then you also have Java, which is like a, uh, it's a computer program scripting and it allows you to you know it's for websites and also for uh, programs then you have Safari which is the browser then you have iTunes plays music then you have QuickTime plays movies so we're just gonna click on install five items uh, and then you put in your password this is your master password and this is the password you set up you, you actually created when you set up your computer at the very first when you very first bought it if you did not set up a password or if you don't remember setting up a password then all you want to do is uh, enter nothing leave it blank and click OK and if you don't remember the password then all you have to do is get your first install disk and uh, boot from the install disk, hold down the C button, boot from the disk, and then you can, in there, you can, uh, you can change your master password. So you click agree, and uh, well, this, usually it, uh, it downloads them, you see them downloading, but apparently it's already downloaded, um, because I've set it to download automatically, and I'm pretty much gonna restart. So this is pretty much it, pretty easy, pretty simple, and I will attach a video after this to show you how to do uh, repair disk permissions, and I'll explain that in a second in the next video. Okay, this video is about, so I'm going to tack this on the end of uh, doing a software update, but this video is about how to repair disk permissions on a Mac. Basically, you want to do this um, whenever you install something or whenever you do a software update. And uh, what happens is when you install something or a software update, sometimes it changes the file permissions and you want to change them back to make it run optimally, keep, them, keep it you know, running smoothly and speedy and all that good stuff. So basically, you uh, want to go into, you can just click on the background image, go to Go, and then go to Utilities. And in here, you're going to look for uh, Disk Utility, right here. Click on Disk Utility, and then it's going to come up, and then you're going to click on the HD. It's us it usually says Macintosh a HD, unless you've changed the name. I've changed the name. Um, and it's usually right under the one up top. It usually has a, you know, this says how large it is, and then this below, this is the one you want to check on, the one that's indented a little bit. And then you just simply click on Repair Disk Permissions. And it'll go through its thing, and uh, it'll show you, it'll tell you what it's changed or whatever and write down and it says right here how long it takes to, to finish and eventually it'll say uh, complete or disk permissions finished or whatever okay so it's a very very simple process and you always want to do this whenever you either install something or update the software or anything like that okay uh, there's no need to wait and uh, watch this because it's really not much to see it's just gonna list a whole bunch of stuff maybe if there's not much to, to change then it won't really change much um, see it here's what it's changing or here what it's changed and eventually it'll say in bold just like this it'll say there we go permissions repair complete okay so that's pretty much it that's all you need to do and if you have uh, other like external hard drives that you also have like a volume on the, that you boot up from that you use you might want to use do that as well okay like this one actually this one is uh, not what I'm using right now. This is the one I'm using right now. 
So this is this is my real hard drive. This is the one that has Tiger on it, then I have Leopard down here. So I click on Leopard, and so I'm doing both my hard drives. This is my external, and this is my regular. And I click on Repair Disk Permissions here, and uh, it's going to do the same thing for Leopard. Okay, and it's going to do the same thing. It's going to give me a whole bunch of things, what it, what it did, and then eventually it'll say uh, finished or complete. All right, pretty simple, pretty easy, and that's the way to do it. And remember, if you like the video, go ahead and click on subscribe to support the site. And also, don't forget to rate the video. Even if it's a three or four, it still helps.